Super Bowl. Lindsay Theory covers the Rams in Los Angeles. She joins us now, and happy birthday to Sean McVay. Lindsay, what can you tell us about the coach that you followed all year? Hey, Wendy. Well, he's only 33 years old. He's a consummate professional. But if there's one thing I've learned covering Sean McVay, it's that he absolutely loves hair gel. So it came as a little bit of a surprise when Cliff Kingsbury was named the offensive coordinator at USC because the big concern in L.A. was whether or not there'd be enough hair gel for both of them. Naturally, I put that on Twitter, and I never really thought Sean McVay would see it because although he's millennial, he's really not a social media guy. But uh, some teammates or some of his players showed him the tweet on the bus. So Sean McVay in suing news conference assured me that indeed there is enough hair gel in Los Angeles for everybody. But, Wendy, I was a little bit concerned. He's got a big week ahead and uh, a lot to take care of. Didn't know if he'd have enough hair gel to last. So for Sean's birthday here, we got him some yellow and blue hair gel to take on the road in case he doesn't have enough time to restock his, his punishment, make sure that hair is perfect for the Super Bowl. Always prepared. Lindsay, we could use about 45 bottles of that hair gel today, and I'm still not sure it would do me any good. But uh, anyway, Todd Gurley, uh, his production was down in the NFC Championship game, prompting some speculation that he might be hurt. Sean McVay said no, that wasn't the case. Uh, what do you see and expect now? Yeah, I definitely expect for Todd Gurley to get involved in the Super Bowl. Sean McVay, the day after winning that NFC Championship game, really did express that he wished he had gotten Gurley going, uh, especially after that six-yard touchdown run. McVay said he looked explosive. He looked good there. And that is head coach. He should have gotten going. Uh, Gurley also said after that game, of course, that his play was sorry, and he really expressed a lot of relief that going forward he'll have one more chance to get that right. As for uh, kicker Greg Zerlein, he is a guy who popped up on a projected injury report yesterday with a left foot injury. Now, I saw Zerlein walking around in a left boot. Sean McVay said he does not anticipate Zerlein missing, or any of his players, I should say, missing any time. And a source confirmed with me that they do not expect this to be a serious issue for Greg Zerlein going forward. Wendy? Lindsay, thank you. We certainly hope not. You heard Mike Reese say the Patriots were incredibly healthy. They have no players on the injury report heading into Super Bowl 53, at least not right now. Listen, this Rams defense will have their eyes set on one thing, and that's getting to Tom Brady. Teddy, uh, the Patriots will have to do their job to stop that. What do you expect from that Rams defense? Well, from the Rams defense, you heard um, Coach Belichick talk about Wade Phillips earlier in the show about how much respect he has for him. And there were some great Wade Phillips defenses when he was with the Denver Broncos also, and they beat Tom Brady and the New England Patriots in the AFC Championship game. But it, with it being this initial week, what they're going to focus on, I think, offensive line-wise and what Dante Scarnecchia and that Patriot offensive line has to worry about, it's in Dominican Sue and Aaron Donald because as much as the press that Aaron Donald has been getting and the attention, it's well-deserved, best defender in the game. And Dominican Sue, something's happened the last couple weeks. It's almost like, all right, I don't, need to, I don't need to earn any more incentives. I don't need to do anything. It's not the regular season now. I see the championship. And so the way that he's been able to stop the run, get pressure on the passer, those type of little things that, that he, sometimes he's not getting the tackle, but he's clearing it up for Fowler and some other guys to do it. And Dominican Sue is something the offensive line will have to worry about. Yeah, I agree. I think, well, a lot's been talked about Wade Phillips and his defensive schemes, but I think it just comes down to if your front four can rush the passer effectively, it gives you on the back end, everybody can do exactly what they want to do. Everybody's playing comfortable. They're getting to the quarterback, and I think that's what the Rams defense is going to have to do. That's what Aaron Donald and Ndamukong Sue and that entire uh, front four is going to have to do in order for them to get or uh, have success and win the Super Bowl. You talk about Wade Phillips. You mentioned Dante Skarnecchia. Coaches. We talked about coaches in this in this game when we looked at coaching and the coach of the year candidates. Uh, what do you make of Sean McVay, the young wizard, if you will, facing Bill Belichick, who's been there, done that, and done it again? Well, well Sean's still learning as he goes. And for me, what happened last week in the NFC Championship game told a lot about the Los Angeles Rams. I mean, they could not communicate. Jared Goff was switching helmets. I mean, they didn't know their communications. I mean, you could tell Goff was rattled. McVay was rattled. They're going to learn from that experience because everything that I saw in that game, that should have, that, that could have equaled a loss for the Los Angeles Rams, but they made the plays in the end. They made adjustments. They settled down. Punt team. Hecker makes a throw on fourth down. All right, you get the, you get the chains moving. 
defense. You buy yourself time. You bought your quarterback time and your head coach time to settle down, make the right adjustments, make plays. That was a huge learning experience for them because, for me, they passed the biggest test an NFL team can pass, and that's winning a conference championship on the road. They did that. This Super Bowl will be another experience for them, Vic. As you know, the crowd is different. you yeah. got pockets of fans that will be cheering. It's eerie sometimes yep. in terms of the crowd noise. It'll be different from there. Well, first of all, I want to say uh, happy birthday to Sean McVay. Obviously, <laughs> I, I wouldn't know the first thing to do at 32 years old to lead a football franchise. 33 today, well, 32, Victor. 33 today, but 32 <laughs> throughout enough. the year. I'm 32. There's no way I'd be able to do that. So kudos to him. And I think, he, like you said, Teddy, he's definitely still learning on the job. I think he's still adjusting to the things that he's seeing and new things that are coming his way as the season progresses but it's going to take him and that coaching staff to put everybody in place put everybody in the right places at the right time in order to be successful because there's very little room for error especially in this game going up against belichick and the patriots they're dotting the i's and crossing all the t's so sean McVay and that team has to be ready well i tell you what the rams have won eight straight against afc opponents but the last afc team they lost to was the New England Patriots. So we shall see Super Bowl 53 just a little over a week away now. But coming up on Sunday, before then, we have this. The Pro Bowl here in Orlando under sunny skies this afternoon. You saw the Saquon Barkley jersey there. Diana Rossini caught up with the Giants superstar already.